Inside Moorhead State Basketball is brought to you by Giovanni's of Moorhead. Order online at giovannispizzapower.com. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. The Kentucky Welding Institute, experience that's built, not bought. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. West Liberty Veterinary Clinic, serving the hills since 1963. The Jack Rowe Insurance Agency and Auto Owners Insurance. Insurance the right way, the human way. Moorhead Pediatrics, exceptional care for what matters most to you. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Hinton Mills, serving farmers since 1918. St. Clair Healthcare, amazing medicine close to home. Fazoli's of Moorhead, fast, fresh Italian. Joshua Trent Custom Designs, looking to build? Let us design your house plans. Wendy's of Moorhead, fresh, never frozen. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for more than 100 years. Total Care Pharmacy, dispensing care, one patient at a time. Commonwealth Chiropractic, treating everyone like family. Moorhead State University Bookstore, a Barnes & Noble College Store. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. And Standard for Builders Paving and Sealing of West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll. Hello and welcome in to this edition of Inside Moorhead State Basketball from the Academic Athletic Center on the campus of Moorhead State University. I'm David Patrick and joined by a very special guest today and a dear friend of mine, MSU Deputy Director of Athletics, Richard Fletcher, better known around Eagle Nation as Simply Fletch. Oh, thanks, Dave. I appreciate the yes, opportunity sir. to be here. Thank you so much. Talk about the basketball season as a whole because the men obviously in first place in the OVC fighting for that number one seed. The women have positioned themselves nicely to make the OVC tournament, which is a huge step forward. But talk about, uh, talk about the teams and administratively what you see. Absolutely. You know, with Coach Preston, uh, Coach Bradlin, when he was hired a number of years ago, he talked about we're going to bring integrity, keep integrity with the sure. game. We're going to recruit the right kind of student athlete that's going to be successful in the classroom and also on the court. You think about what he lost this past year with all the young folks that either graduated or moved on to other positions. He's brought in some young men have not really missed a step. Early in the season, we played a difficult schedule. We all got to see that. We see some growth. The past nine or ten games, I don't know if you can really complain about the effort. Defensively, it's very solid. Uh, we are now at the point we're taking very good shots. It is just fun to watch. It's enjoyable to be around. It's always great to see young people do things that they're, they're recruited to do. It's always awesome to watch young folks just be successful. And, I, you know, you take Mark. Uh, I don't know if a guy's taken over a, a game as much as he has done. I, we were having this conversation in the office a couple of days ago. Ricky Menard, when Ricky was here, Kenneth Freed had opportunities to take over games. For all of us who have been around here for a while, uh, we, we realized that, Bre uh, that Brett Roberts was very special. He would take over a game. But what Mark has done a couple of times is really just impressive. And when you look at Mark Freeman, I'll tell you, Fletch, dynamite comes in small packages Absolutely. because inch for inch, pound for pound, he is clearly the best player in the world. He is, he's, he's a truly a gifted student athlete. There will be moments that he does things on the court, especially with his body size. I mean, he's not a large person yeah. when you get up close to him. But his, his tenacity, his, his understanding of where he needs to be on the floor, you know, there's just something about instinct. It overcomes a lot of other issues, and obviously he's showing that. And Fletch, the women, uh, again, we talked about, have made incredible strides under Coach Kayla Petrie, and uh, it's been a good season. It has. You know, Coach Petrie, if you've ever been around her, you appreciate her intensity, her love for the sport. She reminds me of, of a former coach we had a number of years ago who just loves the sport, eats it, lives it, dreams it, and just is, it's all of her life. If you take a look at this team this year, remember we are a brand new squad, not a returner on the, the current roster. The girls are, are buying in. If you come watch this team, what you appreciate is they play defense, they understand offense, the flow is very good. We're learning to take better shots, and you see that. We have some girls that really can score. We're watching that develop as well, but Kayla, or Coach Petrie, has done a wonderful job 
I'm excited about the potential. I'm excited about the possibility. Another thing about this year, we've really grown. You're seeing it. You're seeing it better inside conference. The one thing Coach Peacher will tell you time and time again, we're going to get this program right, and she's heading in the right direction. And wonderful young ladies. We've had the fortune of having them over to the house, and just good personalities, enjoyable, uh, and they enjoy the games of cards. So it was, it was fun to have them over, and just great to be around. Fletch, I want to brag on Fletch a little bit. Administratively, does an absolutely fantastic job working alongside uh, Director of Athletics Jamie Gordon and the rest of the staff here in Fletch. Not only well respected in the OVC, but also throughout the nation. And, and, and Fletch, I know it's a labor of love for you. You know, I have a graduate from this university back in 92, and so I had the opportunity to come back in 2001. Yeah. I've been fortunate at that then the time uh, Brian Hutchinson was the athletic director gave him the opportunity sure. to go with compliance and I've really just been on the back end of this. It's been enjoyable. It's been a learning experience. It's seen a lot of growth. We were very fortunate this institution. We have a lot of young folks who come here with the intention I'm going to get a degree and I want to participate in my sport. Rarely do we have someone that comes here and doesn't want to participate. Right. So we're fortunate at that part and and you already know our APR is pretty solid. Our GPAs are awesome and so on the back end for us, administratively, all you can do is smile. Absolutely. Appreciate Fletch pitch hitting for Coach Spradlin today. Of course, Coach logging well over a thousand miles on the road in his road trip. Very tiring trip. So Fletch sitting in and appreciate that very much. Stay with us till to come. Highlights of Moorhead State's Thursday night matchup at Little Rock. But first, a tough, hard fought contest at Southeast Missouri. Those highlights are straight ahead on Inside. Warhead State Basketball. First National Bank, we believe in banking made easy. Whether it's a checking or savings account or a loan for a home or auto, First National Bank is a place for you. First National Bank is proud to be part of this community and a sponsor of this show. Good luck to Coach Bradlin and his staff on their season. Banking at First National is as easy as one, two, three. Let us assist you with all your banking needs. First National Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. My great-grandfather opened the first Tenton store in 1918, and our family opened our first feed mill in the mid-1950s. We now have six locations and a wide range of products, including feed, seed, fertilizer, crop protection, animal health products, fencing materials, and pet food. Though times have changed, our commitment to providing you with the highest quality products and knowledgeable customer service is as strong as ever. I'm Adam Hinton, inviting you to stop in and see for yourself. Hinton Mills, serving farmers since 1918. Hi, I'm Gary Markham, proud Moorhead State alum and managing partner of Kim Shore Auto Group. I'd like to welcome you to our state-of-the-art facility on Kentucky 801, just off I-64. We offer new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Ford makes, along with a wide selection of quality pre-owned vehicles. We now invite you to take the short drive to satisfaction in Moorhead or our two newest locations, Maysville and Lexington. We are Kim Shore Auto Group. Eagle Game Highlights is sponsored by Fazoli's of Moorhead. Fast, fresh Italian. Simo, the number one scoring offense in the OVC, 82 points per game. Moorhead State, the number one scoring defense in the conference. They're allowing only 67 points per contest. And when you talk about accurate shooting, 
in this conference, these are the two most accurate shooting teams in the league. Brandon Moffmer, by the way, has checked in, and a three goes down for Khalil Thomas. 11 total, seven on Tennessee State. Here's a dribble drive, and a nice finish going to the right hand is Drew Thelwell. Thelwell works it back out front here for Brandon Moffmer. He'll zigzag his way. Red Hawks very active on defense. Moffmer, a tough shot. Wanting some contact, didn't get the whistle. What a play by Moffmer. This is the best scoring defense in the league, Moorhead State, and a three-pointer goes down for Drew Thelwell. Our next whistle will get a media timeout and five substitutions at the scores table. Jake Wolf passed it up for a layup for L.J. Bryan. Moorhead State does not have a turnover. SEMO forces more turnovers than any team in the league. They have a force one today, and Aquan Smart just got taken to the rack by Thelwell. Jake Wolf gets to the foul line, back taps it for Scott, and he floats it in. Trent Scott, the freshman. Eagles trying to extend with Thomas, his runner. No, another offensive rebound for Moorhead State. They are absolutely curb stomping Simo on the offensive glass. Shot clock at 14 for Moffmer. Post feed to Gross on the left post. Spinning, wheeling, losing the ball, got it back. Throws it low, Wolf a layup. A layup for Aquan Smart rather than playing defense, trying to make a case to the official. Rather than trying to defend Jake Wolf, and Simo is down by eight. Shot clock at 10 for Wolf. Puts it on the floor, takes Branson inside. A kick out to the perimeter. Moffmer, a three wide open. And the Red Hawks rank last in the league against the three. Get burnt there. Shot clock at nine. Moffmer, kick out to Wolf with five. He's behind the arc. He'll let it go. Got it. Jake Wolf. And again, the Red Hawks susceptible to the three point shot. The lead is nine. Both teams shooting 33% from the field in the second half. Thelwell to the rim, another layup for Thelwell. Good news for Red Hawk fans, they're playing better statistical defense today, but they cannot score. Only 39 points with 11 and a half to play. Open three for Thelwell. There's the Red Hawks' Achilles heel. They cannot defend that three-point arc. I gotta think this might be his best game of the year. Suddenly a seven-point game. And he's one of Simo's best defenders as well. He's on Thelwell. Now Thelwell a triple, and he buried it. Thelwell with his career day, working on Smart inside. Oh, he just took Smart to school. Wow, Thelwell, unstoppable. 60-55, 2.19 to play. This is the biggest possession of the game here. Moorhead scores, they can go up seven or eight. 2.09, four seconds, Moffmer buried it! Brandon Moffmer silencing the show me center. Free Popeye's chicken for the missed free throw and smart Lost it momentarily and throws it away. Wow, you talk about a way not to close out a game. Last four possessions of the game, the Red Hawks, two turnovers, two missed shots. Three ball, Harris, no. Five of their final six possessions were scoreless, and you don't win tight games that way. Moorhead State, an impressive win. They remain in first place in the OVC as they hold Simo to the fewest points that has scored all season. 65-59, the Eagles still the cock of the walk in the Ohio Valley. At the Citizens Bank, 
we have totally free checking and a free gift. When you combine totally free checking with the best people and the best service, do you know what you get? The best bank. Being the best bank makes it easy for our customers to refer their friends and family to bank with the best too. Every referral gets another free gift. So come bank with the best, the Citizens Bank, home of totally free checking and a free gift. Member FDIC. Pain is your body's way of telling you that something's wrong. Stress from a car accident, work injuries, aggravation, or even unknown aches can manifest and become worse months or years down the road. Take the initiative and take care of your body. Dr. Chris Ginner at Commonwealth Chiropractic in Moorhead has a locally owned practice that pledges to treat everyone like family. And he's the official chiropractor for Moorhead State Athletics. Located off the US 60 bypass, just west of City Park next to iStyle Salon, call today, 783-0233. Doritos! There's no better way to spend the day than with lunch or dinner at Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Enjoy delicious steak, chicken and ribs, along with our trademark honey butter rolls and hometown hospitality. Hi, I'm Tim Kogan. I promise to provide 100% guest satisfaction here at Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Go out, go west, go Reno's. Woo! You've spent years dreaming up your business plan, saving every dollar, searching for the right location, and perfecting your product. Auto Owners ensures your small business, because it isn't small to you. Only 36 more to go. That's simple human sense. Ask your independent agent if Auto Owners makes sense for you. Giovanni's Pizza is a favorite stop for Eagle basketball fans before or after the game. Come taste for yourself. Delicious pizza, pasta, subs, salads, wings, and much more at the perfect location, 700 East Main Street, across from the Academic Athletic Center. MSU head coach Preston Spradlin and his staff enjoy game day meals with us. Dine in for great customer service or order online at GiovanniSPizzaPower.com. This segment of Inside Moorhead State Basketball is sponsored by Wendy's. Fresh, never frozen. The Moorhead State Eagles entering Thursday night's game in sole possession of first place in the OVC, making their first ever trip to Little Rock. Mark Freeman has been the team's offensive catalyst over the last two weeks. He knocks down the mid-range jumper. And then in transition, Freeman gets a screen from LJ Bryan, goes to the basket and converts the layup. Eagles up eight to four. MSU builds on the lead. Andrew Thelwell, the sweet spin move, and the right-handed kiss off the glass. 13 to nine Eagles at the 1040 mark. It's Thelwell again. Switching to the left hand and hits the layup, MSU up seven. And then it's Freeman creating some space and launching from 27 feet out. He gets it to fall. Eagles take the 20 to 14 advantage. Then check this out. Freeman drives past his defender, takes the contact, throws it up and hits nothing but net. An incredible effort from the Eagle guard. He had 15 points in the first half alone. But Little Rock makes a run. Myron Gardner with the assist to DeAntoni Gordon, who finishes with the foul. Then Gordon beats the Eagle defense down the floor and throws down the one-handed slam. Trojans within two. Jordan Jefferson shoots from the right corner. It's off, but Jefferson follows his own shot. The hustle results in an easy layup. Moorhead State lead trim to one, 30 to 29 at the half. Eagles with a quick start after intermission. Thelwell, the wide open three, he buries it. And then off the Alex Gross steal, he gets it to Thelwell who throws down a dunk of his own. Two of his 13 points, Eagles up 10 with under 17 to go. Freeman then creates his own shot. Shifting to the left, he hits the tray, but it was the guard's only basket of the second half. Thelwell goes to the rim. 
He misses the contested layup. But Gross cleans it up. MSU with a seven point lead with nine and a half to play. But Little Rock refused to go away and in fact, would take control of the game. CJ White hits all net on the mid range jumper. And then off the miss, Gordon goes to the boards and gets the left-handed stick back. Trojans within two. CJ White, the step back jumper. The long two is good. Game is tied at 53. 30 seconds later, White does it again, this time for the lead. The home team in front, 55-53. Ensuing possession. Off the steal, White with the alley-oop to Isaiah Palermo for the easy two. That forces MSU into a timeout, but the momentum had completely swung in Little Rock's favor. Gardner, he turns in the play of the game, driving the left baseline and throws down the emphatic two-handed slam. Gardner finishing with 14 points, one of five Trojans in double figures. The home team outscoring MSU 43 to 38 in the second half to pick up the 72 to 68 win. Losses to stun Morehead State. Lumber Ace Hardware was founded by Philip Lewis nearly 45 years ago and is still locally owned and operated by the Lewis family. Our customers' needs have always come first, meaning we continue to enhance and expand our inventory. Big Four is a staple of the Moorhead and Round County community and we take great pride in giving back. We would like to thank our valued customers for your loyalty and trust and pledge to continue supplying the best quality service by our hometown employees. The moment you walk through the door, you'll know why we are Ace, the helpful place. That's Big Four Lumber, Ace Hardware, 1470 Flemingsburg Road in Moorhead, Kentucky. At Total Care Pharmacy, they do so much more than just fill your prescriptions. They have a nice selection of gifts and apparel with free gift wrapping and free delivery within Moorhead City limits. Plus, you can save money and earn rewards through their loyalty program. Total Care Pharmacy cares about the community. That's why they offer vaccinations, a diabetes education program, and a wide selection of diabetic shoes. Stop in and see the fine folks at Total Care Pharmacy, 206 West Main Street in Moorhead. These days, banking like basketball moves at a fast pace. At Commercial Bank, that same fast pace comes to life with our lenders. We're fast with local loan decisions. Bankers who you know and who know you. Simply put, it's better banking. Commercial Bank, where friendliness prevails. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. At Moorhead Pediatrics, we strive to deliver the best possible care to your children. Our providers focus on providing newborn, child, and adolescent specific medicine, including mental health and critical areas of growth and development. We are committed to helping parents and families raise healthy, happy children. With quality care, compassion, and experience, join the many parents and families that have looked to us to care for their children. Moorhead Pediatrics, exceptional care for what matters most to you. Welcome back to Inside Moorhead State Basketball as we close things out here on the CW Lexington and an exciting week, week ahead because on Thursday night, February 16th, Tennessee State comes here to Johnson Arena to take on your Moorhead State Eagles. And then on Saturday, February the 18th, Lindenwood, one of the newcomers to the conference, it'll be our chance to see them for the first time on the home court. So important to take care of the home court because of the four games left three are here and a chance to close things out the right way. Absolutely, David. You think about it, three out of four games left. By the time this is shown, we're no worse we're in a tie for first That's place, right. if not leading by a game, hopefully right. by two. 
Well, boy, it's an important crowd. You, the last home game, we had a great student section. Oh, and you could electric. just feel the energy. It was, it was great. Community has always been kind of sporting this, this, this year. We've actually had a pretty good turnout. If we ever get the community and the, and the students out, boy, the crowd is great. So, you know, community drives the feeling on the floor. Students drive exactly how the, stu how the team plays. Right. They show up. It's, it's magical. Uh, we already put a good product on the floor. Preston, one thing you're going to be, you'll appreciate most about, most about Coach Spradlin, in a situation, he was a pretty good X and O's kind of guy. He will make the adjustments to give the student athlete the opportunity. Then it's up to the student athlete to be successful. But we have seen local talent. We've seen local area schools that when the crowd is smaller, don't play as well. You know, right. you take us, we, one thing about them, they're gritty on both sides, the men and women. I just challenge if you have an opportunity, please come out and check us out. Thank you so much for watching this week. And on behalf of Fletch, Richard Fletcher, the Deputy Director of Athletics, appreciate him hosting with me today. I'm David Patrick, and we will see you next week right here on Inside Morehead State Basketball. Inside Moorhead State Basketball was brought to you by Giovanni's of Moorhead. Order online at giovannispizzapower.com. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. The Kentucky Welding Institute, experience that's built, not bought. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. West Liberty Veterinary Clinic, serving the hills since 1963. The Jack Rowe Insurance Agency and Auto Owners Insurance. Insurance the right way, the human way. Moorhead Pediatrics, exceptional care for what matters most to you. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Hinton Mills, serving farmers since 1918. St. Clair Healthcare, amazing medicine close to home. Fazoli's of Moorhead, fast, fresh Italian. Joshua Trent Custom Designs, looking to build? Let us design your house plans. Wendy's of Moorhead, fresh, never frozen. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for more than 100 years. Total Care Pharmacy, dispensing care, one patient at a time. Commonwealth Chiropractic, treating everyone like family. Moorhead State University Bookstore, a Barnes & Noble College store. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. And Standard for Builders Paving and Sealing of West Liberty, quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll.